Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Come on in, sit on down, and let's do some crafting. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to my longtime viewers and all my buddies and friends. And also, welcome to those of you who are brand new. Thank you for coming and giving us a little peek. I hope you like what you'll see and you come back again. So anyway, um, it is a very gloomy, rainy cold day here dark day here in California and I am here to do a little crafting with you I think we're going to do a random craft I'll tell you what that is in just a minute well it's not going to be random in a minute right so um first of all how are all of you I hope you're all well again I know many of you have been very sick and I hope you're all feeling a bit better now I've been praying for you and I hope that you're all safe and not in a flood zone or a mud zone or stuck in a snowstorm goodness gracious the weather all over the country is crazy right now so i hope everybody's okay and i hope you're gonna craft along with me or maybe craft and hang out and chit chat so we're gonna do a craft and chat and um so first i think i'll share some things that i already made that i started in our um last video we were doing the uh uh vellum pockets and um, I made, let's see, I made the Christmas pockets, I believe. I only got two done, but I had a bunch in the works. Um, and I got these two guys done. They have some words on them now, and then they're decorated. I'm going to stand up because it's always easier. And they're now all decorated on the back, and they all have like a little tag. And um, so these are ready to go into my Christmas box. Okay, so those are done. Those are from Merry Monday. And they're also uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And then I did two of these ladies. Aren't they lovely? And their back is all done. And they have the appropriate little bits and pieces in them to do with hats and ribbons. And kind of goes well with what you see here. This is fashionable and that one's Vogue. And these are for some journals, you know, that I have in the works. So those are ready to go and sit in those boxes. And then I did a pretty rose one. This one's got some pretties all over it and it has its little pegs and cards and goodies on the back. They all kind of match with the rose theme. And then I have this Eastery one. Isn't that adorable? And it has some little Easter eggs. So those are really cute. And um, there's that one. So there's that one. Okay. And then I made a few more um, of the folders. I finished those that I had stamped and had them all ready to go. And um, they are the fab the fabric, the papers that I used and the pictures that I used are from Sam Poole, S-A-M-P-O-O-L-E. And that is a she. And she has these beautiful photo cards um, that I put inside. I have two in each one I don't want to untie it but there they are so those are inside so these are very shabby chic and um, go along with my other work so you know I have a couple different kinds of work that I do and so I have both of those and they both have card cards with different pictures in them and words and uh, some pretty vintage laces and some book page and just lots of fun stuff and then they've been stamped and tied with their little boat so, and then I made this one. This is Marie Antoinette. So, and she has some really lovely bits of ephemera inside of hers. And isn't that pretty? Now, it's not going to fit with the journal that I made already. So, that means it's probably going to have to, um, hmm, I'm probably going to be giving that as a gift. Now, these little guys are going to go into my, um, Christmas box but it is getting very very full and in fact I found in the garage a completely different tin I didn't have another I can't find my other Christmas tins they're there I just don't know where so this is a really big one as you can see it's about the same size as this one a little bit taller so it's deeper so that's going to be from then on now on any more Christmas I make will have to go in there because this one is full to the top barely barely closes so that's going to be the Christmas. And then um, I've been putting the things that I've been making, Roxy's Challenges, in each of my books. 
uh, each of the ones in my books. And even if this one wasn't her challenge, but I still stuck it in there because I want to remember it. So I'm going to put, I don't have this one in here yet, so I'm going to slide that in there. And this book is getting very fluffy. As you can see, I left the tails long and I thought, oh, I should cut them. But now that I'm seeing how fluffy she's getting, I'm going to need the long tails. I think I picked the right size. So that's in there. So now we have those all put away. The others will go in with the journals that I made them to go with. And if they don't have a journal, then they're probably a gift. Um, so, all right. Now, uh, something else I wanna share with you real, real quick. Jolene has a new kit out. And um, I honestly forgot to look up the name, but I just wanna show it to you real quick. It's Asian theme. And I generally am not drawn to working with Asian images. Um, of any kind, just not my thing, but they're beautiful. And this is a stunning, stunning kit. I was actually blown away by her detail and work. This is a jeweled design. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And I could see me using bits and pieces of it. I just don't see me making a journal, you know. Um, but, oh, if I was ever going to make one, it would be this one because it is, it blew me away when I saw it. Her talent just amazes me. Isn't it soft and beautiful? Oh, I especially love this page. I know I'm gonna use that in other things. My printer cut off the edge. I don't know, it's been throwing fits. It's a brand new printer, but not real happy with it. I'll probably be replacing it soon. And then that one goes vertically. And this one's vertical as well. If you can do a vertical, or a horizontal. I think that's right side up. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, look at these. So you can do two, this allows you to do two different journals in, in one kit. You can do two completely different journals, two in one. So again, this is a jewel design and I recommend that you go over and look in her shop. If this isn't for you, she has lots of beautiful, beautiful things that you may like if you've never been over there. Um, so you might want to go take a peek. And for those of you who are new, it's this, a jeweled design. And it's a jeweled design. If you just look under jeweled design, you won't find it. You have to put the A, you have to put that little A in front of it or you can't find it on Etsy or anywhere else, right? So anyway, that's her newest kit. And um, it just came out, or it should be out. If it's not there, shoot her a message and ask her where it is or if it's coming out. I'm pretty sure she said it would be out. I will check with her tonight to make sure when you see this on Wednesday, happy Wednesday, um, that, you know, it's there for you. Now, I don't know. I've been feeling, had kind of a rough day and been kind of upset all day. And I tried to do a video. I made one and ended up turning it off and deleting it. So it's rare for me to do that. But occasionally I just can't get myself together so I think what I'm going to do is I tried to do some random ephemera I was doing ephemera on my desk and I just couldn't film it it just wasn't coming out good so what I want to do is I want to start a new journal and um, I'm going to be using everlasting journals by Christy everlasting journals and this is her green kit and let's see do I have another one by her uh, I do um, and this one, I, I don't know what the name of the kit is. It's kind of a, it's a name I can't pronounce. It's, it's, she's from, I think, New Zealand? No. Yes? No. Netherlands. She's from the Netherlands. So it's in, I'm not sure what language, but, um, but anyway, they're just beautiful. You got to go over there. It's Everlasting Journals by Christy. Love her work. Um, uh, been following her on Instagram. And so I'm going to be using two of her, her, her kits, to make this journal and maybe Souvenir de la France and maybe Carol Cutts' designs and maybe some graphics fairy, we'll see. Um, so they all have kits that would look good with this. So what I'm thinking is I, because you know, I come over here when I'm stressed or quiet or depressed or upset or anything like that, um, I, I go to my craft room to craft. And so I came in here to do that today and nothing felt right. I couldn't come up with anything. I didn't want to work on anything I already had started. I didn't want to work on any of my journals. I just thought maybe I'll start something new. So what I've decided to do is to make a large flip flop journal with 
three to four um, signatures. And for those of you who are new, flip-flop journals were really, really hot at Christmas. Everybody was making them, including me. I made a bunch. And hold on. I'll be right back. Let me show you what one looks like in progress. This is my Marie Antoinette, and this is a flip-flop journal. You open it, and you have a signature. You have this signature here. You open it, and there's a signature here. And then, you know, with lots of pullouts and flips and flops. That's why it's called the flip-flop journal. And then there's another signature there. Then you flip it over, and there's another signature back here. And um, I've been working on this one for a while. It's just something I pull out when I want to work on something, which I need to really finish her. She is a beauty. I just love her. Look at that. And she's stunning. Well, uh, it's going to be just as high, but as you can see, it's going to be a much wider. This is going to be a big journal. A big flip-flop. And I haven't seen anyone do that. So I thought, let's try it. I got my bigger envelopes. I put it together. Now, there is a video with my daughter and I how to make a flip-flop journal. There is a video showing how this gets put together because I put it together the same way I do all my others, as you can see. This is what a naked one looks like before it is all put together, right? So um, there is a video. There's a set of three, I think, of my daughter and I doing ours, uh, doing a Christmas version. There's also one of me work several of me working on the Marie Antoinette one. So it's at Christmas time that my videos will be back in November and December, probably November, where we do the how to put it, how to make it. So go find my videos and you, you'll be able to find it. I can't link it for you. I have no idea how to link anything. I am not uh, good at that stuff. So what I want to do is I'm going to want to cover the base pieces first. And then we go through and we create the... Um, the signatures. So I know I want to use this, her kits, everlasting journals to create this. And so I just have to figure out, I, cause we're doing this on the fly right now. I mean, I have not thought about it. I don't know what I want to do. Ooh, that's pretty. I can see me using that. Uh, now I have this printed on, um, what do I have it printed on? Oh, linen, linen paper. And I also have it printed in regular paper. So I have to decide what I want to cover it in. Do I want to cover it in the linen paper or keep the linen papers for the signatures? I'm thinking I might want to keep the linens for the signatures because I do want to print on the backs of these. I'm thinking that's going to be the case. So this is a process, kind of a process video where you get to see how I figure this out and what I'm going to do because I had no idea I was going to do this video today. I just decided right now to do it. Sat down, turned on the camera, wanted to share a couple things with you. I'm restless today. I don't know what I want to do. Now that's all, that's a beautiful kit. Look at this. Now this is all set pretty much for tall journals. So I'm wondering if that will work for this or not. I'm thinking it will, let me see. Because it's all tall pages and I don't, yeah, that would work. They work. I'm just not gonna be able to use both sides, but They'll definitely cover a page or two or a page and a half, right? So I think that's good. Um, I think I'll cover it with my regular 32 pound printer paper. Save the pretty pieces for gluing on or making signatures. Let's see what this one has. This is her other kit, another one of her kits. Sorry, guys, I just hit the camera. Now, this is all done in printer paper. I didn't do it in... I do need to go back and print this one in linen. I think I was out at the time. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, I've got two of each page. So, yeah, I've got plenty to glue on here for sure. I do two of each. But I wish I'd printed it in linen. I think I was out at the time, and I finally found a source for it where I could get 500 sheets of it, big boxes. Super expensive, but... And I noticed my printer's playing up a little here with some lines, but I think it'll be okay. This is going to be very vintage, very antique-looking, and I'll be using 
I will be using some authentic um, pieces with it, antique and vintage papers to go with it. All right, so first thing we wanna do, you can see like that. Let me see what you see in the camera. How much can you see? Most of it, not quite all of it. So we're gonna have to keep it folded up when we're working on it, right? Now I am going to cover the envelopes. Those I don't, I don't, I mean envelopes. I'm gonna cover the windows. I don't leave those to show. The only one I may not cover might be this one back here. I'm not sure yet. I'll know when I get there. So that's kind of, you know, something to think about. Um, I did hear my iPad being, hold on a minute. Let me make sure everything is okay. Yep. Okay, just wanna make sure everybody's all right. Nobody needs me. Yay, nobody needs me, haha. <laughs> all right, so I love this right here. This is my favorite image. And I know I'm gonna wanna put this image on the front here. Um, so I'll try not to say um too much. Drives me crazy. <laughs> I can't imagine what you think, right? Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Turn it around. Okay, I do have to cut, I do have to, when I do that, make sure there's paper underneath. Otherwise, it will squirrel out from under on this slick. I've been wanting to create a new surface to decorate on besides this pink mat, but I haven't found what I'm looking for yet. I'm, I'm looking for like some kind of paper or something to work on that I really like. Uh, I guess I could do brown paper. Okay, so the only thing is I'm thinking about this and I think that I would want my cover to be the linen because it is so beautiful. So let me find my linen pieces of that. Am I driving you crazy yet? <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, not my favorite day, but. I have to decide which way to go here. Boy, it's a cold, dark day here today. I know I said that earlier, but it really is. We've had so much rain here. We are out of drought. I think there's like two little cities, towns, or spots or something on the upper the river map that shows, you know, storms and stuff when they go look at our, our, our state from the satellite. And it's only showing two spots that are still in somewhat drought. But I'm hoping with the last of these storms that those places will now no longer need it. So the whole state's out of drought and everybody will have plenty of water this summer. Uh, we have so much snowpack. The um, right now the ski lifts are closed because they can't even ski because the snow's too high. <laughs> There's no mountains. It's just they can't even get up. I mean, the lifts are sitting on the snow. <laughs> There's no. I mean, oh boy, it's crazy. The pictures I've seen are just amazing. Um, but uh, so they're saying that they will be skiing through July. So don't worry about getting up here. You will have plenty of time to ski. <laughs> Can you imagine? Through July, we're gonna be skiing. Oh my gosh. I'm not a skier anymore, but thanks to my knee getting blown out. Skiing, that's how I did it. I uh, blew out my knee skiing. Um, thanks to that, no skiing. But boy, everybody who does can and will be for probably all summer. Can you imagine? It's hotter than heck and you go out and you get to go skiing. Yes. Ah. Uh, Good for the ski lift areas too. I'm happy for them. They are struggling. Now I want to put this on here, but I want to use this around it. So I'm thinking how best to do that. Well, if I take this off down, put it down the side, I'm going to have a lot of pretty scraps, lots of good scraps. There's going to be excellent scraps for this whole thing. And I use a lot of scraps when I do one of these. So I love that rose print because I want that to go, like, I want that to be seen down the side and I want the green to be seen. So I'm trying to figure out how do I, I think I will just cut this all the way down so it's just the picture, right? Let's do that. And I want to get the little pretty roses on both sides or one side, maybe this side. like that. Can you guys see? Sorry, I, oh, I'm trying to get it closer to me because it's getting dark in here. Oh my. Um, 
let's do that. Um, and I don't want to waste all of this. You know, it's half hidden, so I'm going to rip it off. Okay. I thought we should just start with the cover, right? So I don't like that I've got a white edge there. I think I'm going to, as much as I like the torn look, I'm going to have to, well, I'm not sure I can, I'm not very good with this ruler. I mean, I'm getting way better. Oh, remember my first few rips? Oh my goodness, those were crazy. Nope, it's not going to let me rip it. Okay. No, rip it, rip it, rip it good. I'm sorry, I'm being real careful here. Because I don't want to cut into the... What in the world's on my scissors? I clean these scissors all the time. There we go. Those are the ones I'm kind of giving a break. <laughs> all right, so if we put that up the side... And then we put that on over it. I shouldn't have cut that top off, you guys. Oh my goodness. Well, we could add some roses to the bottom. Let's take this off. So we're starting a new journal. Yep, it's not my design team project, but you know what? I don't care. I just a lot of times when I I don't when I get on a design team, I just freeze up. I don't know what it is. I I don't know if it's the pressure of being on the team, but all of a sudden my creativity just dries up. So when I have to do something I don't do as well as when I why I don't take orders and stuff because I just feel like it's better for me to just be creative and let it flow. And when I feel like I have to do something. Even if I'm told, oh, you don't, I still have that stupid sense of responsibility, darn sense of responsibility, over-responsible feeling, and then I don't want to do it. So um, my creativity just dries up. I've always been this way. So I just prefer to, you know, craft and do what I like to do. When I, when I want to do it, when I'm in the mood, which this I've been wanting to do this for months and it's, I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and it's like, no, I want to do this. So I'm just going to start it anyway. Even though I'm not done with my other stuff. Let's see, do I want this to go, do I have this going the right? No, it has to go this way. No, it definitely goes this way. Okay, just making sure I'm doing this going the right way before I go gluing something down. <laughs> glue that down then we can glue that down and we'll put some flowers at the bottom there we go we're going to collage this this little envelope here let me move this let me get some oh that's dirty got to get that down to the kitchen i've washed it three times and i need to wash it again because i'm always gluing something i get my other glue mat Put that under there so I don't get glue, you know, on my envelope underneath because then everything will be gluey. I sure have been seeing a lot of really beautiful projects on Instagram. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous all the things that are going on over there. I feel like I need to step up my game here and get something done. Oh, hopefully you're not seeing my hair. I am a hot mess today. I did nothing with my hair. I just am not sleeping good again. I was sleeping for a while there. Now I'm not, so I'm one tired girl. Me and my kitty were awake last night. Something woke us up last night. We were sleeping and something startled us. And I, she jumped up and she's watching around the room. And I don't know what she was looking at, but I'll tell you what. She was upset. She was growling in her throat and... There was nobody there that I could see, and I thought, oh, maybe we have a rat, or maybe we have a cockroach, or we shouldn't have any of those things, mind you, but um, you never know, you know. We, one of our neighbors, who has moved away, thank goodness, they let their garbage build up so bad that they had cockroaches everywhere, and they were getting into our yard, so we were having a spray man come and spray all the time. We were spraying, putting out poison, and oh, goodness, it was awful, and... Um, 
We were getting rats and... <sighs> so that neighbor's gone, thank goodness. So we shouldn't have any more of that. But you always worry about the residual. I'm trying to decide which end I need to put there. Or do I want to, like, do it there? Because I got this little piece down here, right? Yeah, maybe I'll start it there. That seems a little more likely, right? Let's do it here. Okay, where's the top of the... Oh, there it is. I just realized I'm probably working off camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What a beautiful kit this is. Stunning, 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 stunning. Everything about it is stunning. So I found her on Instagram. Uh, and like I said, this is Everlasting Journals. I'll try to put it in the um, description box. I don't think I'll have a direct link, but I will try to get something on there. I'll have the name for sure. So you can look it up on Etsy. Boy, it's really coming down. I mean, hard. Can't even see across the yard. It's raining so hard. Oh boy, more flooding. I hope everybody's ready. I mean, the levees have, have broken everywhere. We have cities still, we have towns along the coast that are, Pajaro is one of them, that's still underwater from the last storm. We have our own area here that had the levee broke and They have a lot of damage, so it's not pretty. Guess what? I'm out of out of glue. I didn't realize it. I'll go grab a glue stick. I should have one pretty handy. I'm just trying to glue this back on because I did not do a good job of putting it on. There we go. There we go. I think I got it this time. Third time is the charm. Yeah, we're down to the last sixteenth of an inch here. Let me get another glue stick because I know we're not going to make it through this. It's not pretty. I know we're not going to make it through this project. Just not going to happen. Um, yep, there's one. I knew it. I knew I had one. Let me make sure we're still filming. <sighs> Just see what time I need to stop. I wasn't, I, I almost didn't have a video for you guys today. I just, you know, I tried a couple times and I just couldn't get it together. So it was going to be, end up being a cranky emotional video. And I decided, nope, you don't need to see that. You come here to craft and you don't need to see anything else. You don't need to see emotion or upsetness or anything. You just want to come and craft and that's what I'm here for. And that's all I'm going to do. So we are crafting pretty. All right. Now. I could go ahead and cover this, but I'm wondering if I should wait to see what my um, signature is going to look like. Because a lot of times I'll try to make the signature and this kind of all go together. So maybe I'll wait on that. Let's just go to the inside and see what we need to do here, right? So let's look at our papers. And oops, let me do this kit first. Let's see. This is her green kit. It's so pretty. I think this is the green one. Is this the green one? I don't know. I'm totally confused. I've confused myself. Now I got these kits mixed in. Well, that wasn't bright, Lorette. Oh, well. Anyway, beautiful kits. Um, I'm not going to use that because I just used it on the cover. What I think I want is I know I want the inside to be relatively plain. Yeah, this is her green one. That's right, this is the green one. Okay, let me get the other one out. The one I can't pronounce. I love this one too. I'm gonna look at them both. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, isn't she gorgeous? She's just a stunner. So do I want her maybe over here? But that means I have to put something back there and that's gonna be the rub. All right, but I, I know there's plenty of papers here to do that with.
those these papers on the green kit seem really perfect for the tall journal. These I think will work good on the inside, but I also need um, a lot of Marie Antoinette in here. She's my favorite, as you know. That seems like every era is represented here, though. Every era. From Victorian to, you know, Marie Antoinette's time from the early 1800s to Renaissance. They're all here, which is beautiful. So, I want to put those on there, but I am going to need something to cover the rest of the envelopes. So, that's going to be a problem for me. Hmm. All right, now the green kit was set up for... I remember seeing like that one works. Uh, let me just see what's here. We have that, that's pretty. We have this, what we want is some basics to cover the background and then we can add images if we want. Um, that's really pretty. That's pretty. I think we'll use these and then I can add other images on top. How's that? Does that sound good? I hope so because that's what I think we're going to have to do. So I really like this one. I think I like that with that. Oh, kind of too busy, huh? Maybe we could go that and that on one set because then we're going to turn the page and we're going to have that and that. Okay, I think that works. Let's do it. It's going to be a very green journal. I'll get some other colors in here besides that. You know, it's I'm going to end up playing up the pink and because there's pinks in it. So I'm going to end up uh, using that as my secondary color and probably like my coffee dyed papers that are, I mean, not coffee dyed, what do you call them? Um, Avocado dyed papers are pink. I do. I might have some greens. I've got some beautiful things from all of my favorite ladies. So I'm sure I can find plenty of way to get the pink in here. Pink and green. This is going to be a very pink and green. Day. Oh, I know too. Hold on. I'm not, this isn't all just going to be everlasting. The majority, yes, but uh, everlasting journals. But there are going to be some other, other kits used in I'm not on her design team, so I can add other things if I so wish. But she's been um, hoping I would do something with one of her kits. So here I am, Christy. I am creating with your kit. I hope you um, enjoy watching me make some things with, from it. Thank you very much. Okay. Christy did send me uh, one of these kits to play with, so... But I'm going to play with both of them, Christy. I love helping new designers who are starting out. Excuse me a minute, guys. <coughs> it's raining. My allergies are kicking in. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> my goodness. I just lost my voice. I do have throat issues, so I've always had them since I was a kid. Strapped about four billion times. My husband and I got a throat infection when we first got married. We both were in bed together. We both lost our voices for about 10 days. It was horrible. So... We didn't have anybody to take care of us. I think my mom stopped by once or twice to drop off some stuff, but we were newlyweds and oh my gosh, we didn't have a clue how to take care of each other. <laughs> I did my best, but I was just as sick as he was. He was right next to me. Called the doctor and I think we got a house call actually for the first time ever because we were both so sick. Of course, you know, that was in the 70s when they still did stuff like that. They don't do that anymore. 60s and seems like after the 70s, no one did a house call.
Okay. Now. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe over there. But I also like these, so I'm going to do this. I like that one. I believe both of these are Marie Antoinette here. You know how I am about her. I love my Miss Marie Antoinette. Okay. I'm mixing kits together, so let's maybe, I changed my mind and I'm entitled to do that. This is <laughs> my thing. Um, I wanna know what would look good with her. Maybe this one? I don't usually yawn, yawn during a video. That's pretty rare for me. But like I said, I haven't been sleeping. We got woke up last night and we couldn't go back to sleep. Turn on the lights. Just, oh, it's awful. I don't know what was bugging our house last night. I finally got Misty to settle down. Because if she can't sleep, she's like pummeling me. She was on... She pretty much slept on guard facing the door most of the night. Protecting mom and dad, you know. She's very protective of her mommy and daddy. Since we got, well, they were abandoned at a day or two old. I'm pretty sure the mama kitty would have come back, but the little girl that, that got hold of them didn't know that and made the mistake of bringing them in the house their house so anyway these guys never knew a mother at all not even I don't think they were even nursed on and they got them through the bottle feeding and all that but we got about five weeks so Misty and Tommy have never had a mama and daddy they're only known us so um yeah so I mean, they are very protective of us they will growl if someone comes to the door they're cats but you would think they were dogs maybe they were in another life I don't know <laughs> They do all I have all kinds of dog like behaviors, so you never know. They could be part doggy. Alrighty, so I think that's what I'm gonna do there. Sleeves up. Let's get busy. I think oh gosh. So this is a little bit trickier. Now, when I put these on, I like to use is it too dark in here for you guys? Because I know it's getting dark for me. I might have to turn on some lights. Oh no, see my camera will make up for the darkness for you guys, but then I'm not necessarily seeing anything. I am gonna use Fabri-Tac because it doesn't wrinkle. There's no water in it. Water makes your glues wrinkle. And the only thing I don't always like about art glitter glue is it will leave lines. You can see the lines through the paper a lot of times. So, And this allows me to pull it up if I don't like the way I put it on and move it around, which a lot of times you can't do. Now, the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to put the, because I don't want to close this right here. So I am going to take the art glitter glue and hopefully it's open. It's cold today. Um, someone was asking about art glitter glue. Now, art glitter glue, you can't thin it out. It's made with water. So if you put water in there, it's not going to dry right away, the glue, and it won't hold. It won't stick as well. So you can't thin it out. I just shake mine up. The other thing you could do is it, it really thins out in the heat, I noticed. So you could sit with it between your thighs, maybe, and hopefully that um, will... Huh. Seems like I need some new lids here. That'll um, warm it up and thin it out a little bit. Uh, 
but it was designed to write, to glitter write, you know, write words with glitter, the glue, you know, write words on things like shirts and paper and things. And then it was designed as art glitter glue. So it's supposed to dry immediately. Well, as soon as the air hits it, it starts to dry and thicken. So if you don't keep a pin or a cap, I just put a cap on. I don't have a pin in mine. If you just put a cap on it, that'll keep it moist. And then I think if you just like put it in your lap and just kind of warm it up, um, it should start to, to come out easier. Right. And so, um, it loves heat. It was. It's actually made in Arizona. It is not something that likes cold or even understands cold, I think. So this is my understanding on the research I did on it. Um, so definitely. Okay, now I don't need that paper that's on the back. I could rip it off, but I'm not going to because I don't want to take a chance of damaging it. I'm going to cut with my scissors, and then I'll ink heavily when I'm done. Trying not to cut open my other envelope. I do not want that envelope cut open. I'd rather have it too long than accidentally open up the envelope. I will at some point. I mean, oh, you guys, I forgot. I was going to leave it open as a pocket right here. I completely forgot. Well, we're going to have to open it at the top then because I didn't leave it open on the side. I mean, I don't have to make a pocket right there. But I'm going to want it. I know me. I'm going to want a pocket there. So I, and I can't have it there. So it's going to have to be open up there. Well, we can do that. Let me just barely, I don't want to put it on my paper cutter because I'm liable to open the wrong thing. Okay. Did I open it? Ugh. Come on now. Come on now. What's going on here? Oh, here it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. Yay. I can clean that up later. All right. So we have a pocket up there because we have now closed it right here. Okay. So I have a full pocket. Can you guys hear the rain? Can you hear it? Wow. Sounds like a shower. Only it's not the shower. It's actual rain. Okay. So we have our first side is completed. We have our first little cover part is completed. Now we need something here. I don't think I want a picture right there. I think I want my next picture. Um, I might want that picture out there because I really like that a lot. Oh, yes, we were going to put this here. I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. We're going to put this here. I'm thinking I probably want to take a little bit off the top and the bottom. We're going to let it go over the line and then we'll fold it after. So I don't want that blue to show from the envelope. I don't want to lose my flowers up here. You know, maybe what I could do Well, I hope you're liking this video. Let's put this right here. Starting a new journal, which I wasn't gonna do. I told myself I wasn't going to, but I did it anyway. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm just in the mood to glue paper today. Make some pretties. What's it like where you guys live? Are you guys still in the snow? I bet you are. I know a bunch of you were saying something about snow. I was like, oh man, I feel bad. Now, one thing I do want to do, I want to ink this before I do the next thing. I want to ink the envelope. I probably will round the corners on this, I'm thinking. 
I don't think I'll be happy if it's straight corners. You know that. Oh, if I don't have rounded corners. I just have to see if it works or not. You know what I mean? So. This is a brand new uh, dauber and it's shredding. I'm kind of hard on my daubers, I think. why I always have to do late day videos. What is with me that I gotta always do a late day video? I tell you. I'm a late afternoon, evening kind of person. Sorry again. I never yawn. I always think it's so rude. <laughs> Apologize. Sleep is so underrated. You need more. I need more. But you know what? Even when I get 12 hours, I still feel like I need more sleep. So, But I think I have too many days of not getting it. So when I do get it, it's still not enough. So, Can't take any sleeping medicine because of some of my other medicines. So, you know, you get interactions with your meds. So you have to be careful. But, you know, you get worried about things or you're concerned about things or you have worries or whatever and or someone upsets you and you're like, ah, why can't I sleep? I'm purposely moving this down because I cannot see the top of this envelope. I can't see where the paper ends, begins, and ends. I'm going to pull it down. Gosh, it's coming down harder and harder, even though I think, oh, it couldn't go any harder yet. It's still getting harder outside. Yeah. That's a frustration yell. Yeah. Well, there will be a... Um, uh, uh, signature right there. Gosh, I can never remember that word. Why is that so hard? There will be a signature right here. So you aren't going to see that blue that I see right now that's bugging the living daylights out of me. I have to remind myself it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. You got to have a signature sewn in right there and you're not going to see that. So don't worry about it. Sorry, I have this up to my nose. It's right up to the camera too. So you've seen what a bad job I'm doing for the cutting. There we go. There. There, 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 there. Okay, this is good. All right, so we've got our first two pages done. Now we're into the next set. So what do we want on that? Do we want one of these? Or do we want one of these? Maybe we want one of these. We want her? Not sure what I think of her. I know this is beautiful and I want that one. Um, 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 um. I'm just going through the papers to see what's here. I know there's a bunch in the other one that are going the other way, but they are going to be too... These guys, they're going the wrong way. They don't, they're not tall enough. Once I take off the white, they're too short. So I would have to put them on a page, but I guess I could. Why don't I do that? Because I really want her on one of these pages. Um, and, but, 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 I'm gonna need a page behind it. So give me a minute here. I'm thinking maybe that behind, let's see, where did she go? That behind her? Yeah, she would be pretty with all of that, wouldn't she? As long as we don't put her in the middle of a fold, which is right here. Let's 
Decisions, decisions, decisions. As Rachel would say, decisions are the worst. They really are. Okay, I ripped that one, but I know I ripped others. There they are. It's like, where did all the ones go that I ripped? Why are they not here? I feel like this is the next one, and then maybe she could be the last one. Maybe we could do that. I don't know. What do we think? I think so. Let's try it. So what I need now is I need my ruler again. Let's get rid of these white spots. Okay. I sort of like that jagged edge right now for this. It's very vintage, very Victorian. Oh, these past Victorian. Well, some of these are Victorian. E. Some of it's even Edwardian, but I mean, there's a little bit of everything here. Now, will that fold? Yeah, that'll be that'll hit the fold right. It won't fold on her, so she'll still be kind of seen. Now, before we do anything, we need to think, are we going to cover that up? And if we're going to put a picture in there, then we kind of have to go around this carefully. So I don't think I am. I think I'm going to not worry about it. And I'm going to cover the whole thing. I normally don't add any windows to my journals. So I don't think I will in this one either. I will go ahead and just ink some of this though. I think I have issues. I'm gonna have to add some glue. Man, it's a rainy one. I sure enjoyed the last four or five days though. So much sun. Had a great weekend last weekend. Um, we were able to, I was cra I crafted my video on Saturday, but Sunday I we took our granddaughter shopping for our daughter's birthday, Jolene. And we went to the, um, what do you call it? The hardware store where all the plants are. And we went and picked out some things for Mama. That was so fun. It was a beautiful, beautiful, sunny, warm spring day. Oh, gorgeous day. Great day to be out with the girls. And we did some shopping. We had so much fun. We went out for ice cream after. It was a really fun day. I needed it bad. Um, so... I really enjoyed the time with my granddaughters. I adore them so much. So, um, these are Jolene and Steven's girls. So, my two oldest granddaughters. My teenagers. Oh, they were so, they're excellent. They were excellent. They were really fun to shop with. And, you know, sometimes teenagers are kind of a pain, but they were being really great. Especially the oldest. She was really helpful. Lizzie B was being too, so I mean they were both great. I picked out things they wanted and the weather was just fabulous. Perfect day for ice cream. Wasn't hot, wasn't cold, just right, but beautiful out. Bright, sunny, clear sky, bright, bright blue, P white puffy clouds. Just a fabulous day. There will probably be a signature right there as well. I'm not I can't remember. If not, I'll put paper or something there on the or fabric right here. Where my cards go? This is a lot of fun to just cover the base pages. It's one of my favorite things about this is just getting creative here and then adding your signatures later. It's like you have cover, 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 right? And then you add your signatures. So let's see what time it is. Oh, you guys, I think my hour's up. This went so fast. It really did. It went super duper fast. I think we're done. I got to look at my camera, but I have a feeling we are done. We've even gone over. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little project that I started. Um, I'll be working on it periodically with you or, you know, show you as I go along, like I kind of did with the Marie Antoinette. I kind of started with you and then I would show you bits and pieces and we would work on ephemera for it. So I think we'll probably do the exact same thing with this one. We'll work on ephemera for it, and we'll work on bits and pieces. I don't know how often I'll work on this one. Maybe just when I'm feeling restless, we'll do a little something. But remember, this is Everlasting Journals with Christy. Got a lot of great stuff in her shop as well, so go take a peek. 
She's on Etsy, Everlasting Journals. Let me, ugh. okay, how do I fold this? Oh, right here. I have to do it from this side because I cannot see to fold. Alrighty. I don't want to fold it too hard because it's not dry yet, but you got the idea. Look at that, see? Look, when you open it, you see that and that, and then you close it up and you have that. So we still have a few. We have there, there, and there to cover. Oh, and there and there. Well, I have a lot to go. So a lot to do in this little journal. Anyway, I really enjoyed. Let me double check my time, but I think it's a time to say goodbye and have a wonderful week. But let's see. Yes, you guys, we're right there. So I hope that you will have a wonderful week and you have a wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you all on Friday, hopefully, right? So you guys, take care. I love you. I'll miss you. And I'll see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.